We are live, guys. I'm Joe One Further, the Cyber Nerds. And I'm Raven the GS. Sam is the Blitz Tech. And today we've got another Top Boy review, Season 3, Episode 4, Bonfire Night. Now, before we get to all of that, first, there's going to be heavy spoilers in this review. Second, if it's your first time or for some reason you just have not pressed the subscribe button, here's your opportunity to do it. Let's do it together. Three, two, one. Blah. Make sure you hit the notification bell also and click all videos so you get notified every time we drop something. What are you man saying? Jay Styles. Sorry. Smart. Sure, um, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, Cam dies. What, what was that? Sorry, my bad. Go on, go on, go on. You're right. Smart. I'm not all right, you know. I'm not all right. I'm not. I, I, I'm, I'm think. I might not finish this season on this team. It's a lie. <laughs> it is a lie. It is a lie. It is a lie. It is a lie. Alright. So last. Last um right, man called last team, review fam. we called it yeah but fam there's you can call it you can call it yeah it still hurts but it still it still yeah, hurts it still, it still hurts it's still mad it's fam. still peak fam. episode four fam. like that's what you man doing it's not even no, way I thought episode five all right cool but um, four like literally yeah. just just the thing is yeah I love the way they used it as being a catalyst yeah to bring Sully home and mm. like. Sully was on his own thing. He was in his bag. He was like, look, I'm going to do this thing on my ones. And then this is just like... Like, it just pushed man back to like, yo, fam, like, just just go back, man. Just just go do what you've been doing, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was all mad, man. And what's, what's crazy about this is the way they wrapped it around a, a, a major issue that we've been dealing with in it like racism immigration the you whole know what I'm team. saying like that whole just just being on that side of, of Kent yeah like it's it's real in it like it's, it's happening out there so and it's crazy because like someone like jumped in the comments was like oh why did they have to make like all the white people racist right there, there. have you guys seen that comment no I've not seen that comment no and someone was trying to explain to them, like, bro, like, that's because, like, <laughs> fam, this is what's happening. And it's like, yeah, but, like, but all the white people, like, immigration, the people living around the shopkeeper, I'm just like... To be honest, for me, personally, they don't all, they don't, they're not all racist. No. They don't even all feel racist. Mm. But there's it, some that are. So, uh, or, and it's not even necessarily... It's it's mad because there's so many levels of racism in it. Yeah. It's it's mad because of that. Yeah. Like these people, they might not be to themselves actively racist, right. but they have stereotypes and tendencies and just ingrown things in them that are racist. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's a mad thing. Like racism is is a mad thing. So it's like hard to explain that. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but obviously, like the two police officers, or let me say the two police officers, the, the one dude. police officer yeah. who's like, oh, she was stealing nappies as a baby food. Man's gonna pay for this myself. Right. Like, and 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 that's and that's what's so. Me. It just shows you, like if you just stop to think about, and this is just in general, mm. like when someone commits a crime. A lot of times, there's a reason behind it. You know what I'm saying? Not that man saying he's back in the whole crime team, like, because crime goes all the way around, didn't it? Like, mm -hmm. whether you poverty, whether you're rich. You're, you're rich, you know what I'm saying? You're in the House of Commons, <clears throat> Parliament, them things, you know what I'm saying? Rotted! It's, it's everywhere, really. What? It's everywhere, fam. Just go! <laughs> Stop! Yourself, please! You ain't saying no names, though. You ain't saying no names. Man so. just said the whole yard, fam. Like, <laughs> yo. Bro, please, just so, allow the channel, fam. So, <laughs> but if you just stop yourself to think, like, that police officer just put two and two together and clock, look, oh, she paid for these, but this whole basket is worth those two items and she needs it for the, for the youth. Allow it. Do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? And if just... Half of us could just do that, fam. The world would just be a better place, innit? Like, the, the thing what's mad about that scene is, like, 
I would have liked to be in a million different homes during that scene. Because there's certain people watching that scene who are like the shopkeeper. She committed a crime. She used to go to jail. Mm. She needs to get deported. Yeah, there's bare man. You man, you're scum in it. You man are scum in it. Yeah, then there's bare people who are like, that police officer did the right thing. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. He saw the city, you know, understood it. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's like, and there's bare people who are in the woman scenario. Like, mm. I'm going to have to go out today and steal something so my child can have nappies or so my child can eat. Like, mm. like, it's mad. And you just gotta think, yo, we're all we're all people, fam, we're all human beings, bro. So allow the judgment, innit? Like yeah, And right. this show is just portraying that exactly how it is, innit? Yeah. So if you feel some type of way, allow your comments in the comment section, because man will come for you in it still. Sam, what are you saying? Sam, what are you saying? I don't know, like the whole like racism thing that you gotta to touch on, like some people, like you're saying, I don't know. Obviously it's a very cynic a finicky subject, but it even like the whole them targeting the people in Kent, the whole fire thing, like you're saying like if you grew up with someone in primary school that was like say Asian, mm. you would allow them because you grew up with them, so they were born in this country. But then one day, kind of immigrated here, took a a house or whatever, then you like hate that particular kind of group because yeah. they're coming in so so. But it's like like I said, they're just people though. It's like it's why are you targeting one group but not another? Because that's thing, the, that's right? that's what racism racism is dumbness. Yeah, like, it's really crazy. It's just. The, a lack of intelligence, bruv. Like, That's what I don't understand. It bro. don't make... Like, the whole... Ra- like, racism don't even make sense to start with, innit? Mm. Like, firstly. So, yeah, like... It's got bruv. down to the individual, not like the actual group of people, that one. Uh, it doesn't make sense to us, but it makes sense for those who keep stay at the top and keep us at the bottom, innit? Like, and get rich of the team. So... Right. All right, so... What else happened? Uh, I was actually surprised that Cam got finished this episode. And you know what? And on the back of that, yeah, there's no coming back for Jamie, fam. Yeah, that's what I say. There's no coming yeah. back for Wait, him. wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. A lot. No, no, see, the thing is, you man talk... What I realised from this episode is that I don't believe that's Jamie's first body or anything no, like no, that. No. We've seen it already. That man's really yeah, body. But, yeah, so we, but we didn't know. Yeah, we didn't know. We didn't know. So we were still like... Because remember, we spoke, what we spoke before was like, oh, like, is there going to be some sort of collaboration between these men? Because this guy, this seems, it seems to be like... Too much of a, a goody guy in a bad situation, but now, fam, man's fully nah, nah, nah. dark side, fam. Man's nah, nah, fully nah, nah, like, nah, nah, nah. yo, abduction. I thought they was just gonna teach man a lesson. Yeah. But when the man saw the body flying, I said, more than that, the severe beating with their hammers and whatever have you I, like. I, I, I don't, ag- I don't agree with that. That man was fully. I think when the season started, he was already fully dark side. What we would, what I was talking about when I said, oh, he's making reckless moves. I mean. Mm. He's making reckless moves. Like, leaving Cam alive was a reckless move. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I didn't know that they was going to resolve that the next episode. <laughs> but then, obviously, when man was talking about, oh, he's had two warnings already. Mm. Yeah, but, but man he... solved the issue the next. Yeah, he had he had the conversation with that woman, didn't he? She's yeah. like, yo, like, yeah. we don't need this kind of drama. Yeah. And he was like, no, like, it's cool. Like, man's, man's got this. And yes. I think this is where this whole... No, yeah, no, but that, no, that makes Tyler sense to me. Engine, I, like, yeah, and that's why I thought, like, oh, yeah, that, this, this to me wasn't Jamie being reckless. This was Jamie just putting a bow on it, like, all right, I should have finished you the first, like, mm. it was reckless to go off the you, man, and just fight you, man, in the ends. I should have just wrapped you up then and dealt with you then, but I, I, I resolved it now. So, for me, this was, like, a, a step forward for Jamie, mm. like, oh, yeah, like, man's going to try not to do the reckless thing. Mm. Man will just solve the issue, make the point to the boy, to Cam's team, do you know what I'm saying? And keep moving like that. I still think the potential for collab is there, but it depends on the whole Modi situation. Yeah. Modi's got to come out and be a bigger threat than Jamie for for Jamie. For both parties. Yeah, for both for, for mm. both parties for that. But then at the same time, you know, Modi is coming after them, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Leighton is still missing. True. So and that's because of Modi for sure. Uh, yeah, um, and yeah, but that's the thing. Leighton's got the issue with Jamie. Yeah. Modi's got the issue with with Sully. So, so it go. makes that mm. team against both teams leading to the collab yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, hey, us yeah. man, yeah. I've got to finish these man. But we know it's coming to a point where Jamie and, and Sully and them yeah, man are gonna have like, bro. Exactly. This is all pissed off. Everyone could get white. Free for all. <laughs> everyone could get white. Crossroads are mad, fam. Everyone could get white. But I, I just love the way they they just so swiftly set up all of these dynamics. I'm I'm glad that thingy's not dead. What's my man's name? The one who had the seizure in the car. 
Oh, uh, Driss. Gri- yeah, Driss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm glad he's not dead, yeah, in it? Like, exactly. I'm glad he just, yo, I didn't take my medication today. But that's definitely coming back. That's definitely going to happen again. Like, someone's stealing his medication. Like, he's going to go out that way. I hope. I, li- I mean, I hope not. But you don't put stuff like that in the episode. And him making such a point of, I've never missed a day. I'll never miss another day. Then why did you miss that day? Mm. Something's going to, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Because now, happen. because before, he's just, think about it. There's been no jobs. There's man just been... Chilling. Uh, chilling in the block. Mm. Well, now nah, he's active, like, moving around with, mm. with my guy, innit? So, but, ah, uh, this bloody show touching on these sensitive subjects, fam, like, illnesses and everything, like, uh, bro, this real, and I, f- I think that's, w- he's just going to get sidelined. Who? Driss. Uh, Driss. You think so? He's going to get sidelined by meds. Like, at some point, I believe that it's going to be like, I'm going to be that dude in the ends, who was a part of this, but now I'm not physically yeah. capable of doing anything. And no. I'm just a regular guy. Look how he's trying to hide it. Man, he's trying to, trying to be like it, it, like it, it ain't affecting him. Like. This is going out, fam. You, you reckon he's getting yeah. finished? For sure, for sure, for it sure. Could. And I don't think he's gonna get killed uh, on the roads. I think the illness will kill him. Or kill him. Yeah, fam. More so, more so than anything. I, yeah, I, I, mean. I don't know. I just have a funny feeling where it's just one of those things that he makes it throughout the whole season, and then next season the man just at a funeral or something because man just. Just just got finished. But speaking of death... I don't even know. Go on. Go on. I think they've set up uh, Middle Brother's death already. Yes. He that's that's what what no, but, but, but they've he set up how it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How it's going to happen. Yeah, we're going to go out clubbing. And I think that's that might be where uh, his brother clocks, oh, it wasn't Cam that was behind this. Because they come for a hit and mm. my little brother just got it. So I think that's been laid out. Uh, that whole scene with uh, the younger brother, what's his name? I don't know. No, his name's man. Can't remember. His, him and his girl at the parents' house, I love the whole scene. Mm. Just because it takes you someone else that Top Boy's not really taken you before. Do you know what I'm saying? But it does take you with a real life thing that man from the ends have to deal with when like you go to uni, a place where people come from far and wide um, and you make connections with people that have different lives than you. Do you know what I'm saying? They've got their parents come from a different area. They've got different jobs. They're at different statuses. But you make these real... You make connections with people, fam. Mm-hmm. And you go there and you explain your story. And it's just like... It's it's a bit mad. Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like the, the one line I loved is when um, Abby's... How do I wow. know the... How, yeah, how do I know Abby's name? But not the brother. <laughs> Abby's... Abby's yeah, that's why. <laughs> I oh, love it, love it. That's not funny, bro. <laughs> Abby's Abby's mom is like, oh, your brother Jamie sounds like an amazing young man, Ooh. and this is the thing that it is about the ends here. Yeah. Well, not even just about the ends, it's just about people in general. It's like you can be doing the most crud, fam, but to someone, you're everything, fam. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you're like man's talking about his brother, and I was like, raw man, this this guy, fam. You know what I'm saying? He was 18 when his parents died. Looked after both his two younger brothers. Went to school, always fed. Like, bro, how, mm. how can you say that's a bad person? And in her mind, she's not thinking, well, this guy's also, you know, the current leader of Summer House, the Summer House gang and is selling yeah. drugs and he just bodied someone mm. 30 minutes ago. Do you know what I'm saying? You know it's what, mad. You saying that, you know what it reminds me of? There's been particular uh, real life scenarios where like someone uh, got finished yeah. like got got murdered and they asked the and, teachers and, and then and then you go Ooh. and then the newspapers will crop out some next picture and just and obviously you just picking up you just look raw like this person looks rough mm. but then a lot of times that picture's cropped out from a picture with a family member a daughter a son you know what i'm saying like stuff like that and to just that image, trying to portray actually. that image mm. you know what i'm saying so it's all about like how yeah. you're looking at things and how things are presented to you in it because the way it's been presented to the parents, it's like, oh, a remarkable person. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is because the way you go on the back that. But off the back of that, I also want to say that look how remarkable people without the right support, the right things, you you end up twisting, <sighs> like going the other way around. Now, I'm going to go <laughs> for those two younger boys, mm. yeah? What did it start off last uh, last uh, uh, episode? Big Flame Burger. Mm. Yeah. Legitimate business. And legit entrepreneurship, yeah? Now, now going. things are going a lot harder at home. Where is man doing? Crime. Flirting with crime. Trying to steal a dog because you know, because you're intelligent enough 
to clock that if I take if I borrow the the the, the dog I get the puppies I can go and make these sales it, man's talking about percentage oh we know it's not legal but well this is real things like there's a lot of smart youths on the roads just don't have the right support the right foundation and that's where they end up bro you know what i'm saying using that intelligence to do the wrong things trying to get by in life this show is amazing but do you know what yeah and just to add the cherry on top of that where did this start fam from some people trying to yeah. take man's mom out the country mm -hmm. who's who's working six days a week do you know what I'm saying? To look after a son yeah. who's who's an A star student, fam. Bro, this this youth now is now putting all of that intelligence into criminal behavior to negate that, bro. Which shouldn't be happening in the first place. Exactly, and that's bro. what's wrong with the world because things are not balanced. Once things become unbalanced, people are forced to do certain things that is not in their nature. But this is what they want. It's all <laughs> mad. Anyway, what else happened? I feel like we touched on a lot of stuff. I mean, Jay Styles was peak. Yeah, that was mad, fam. It was, it was peak, but like, bro, you got to jump, man. You got to jump, fam. He, if as he, he can't get through the window, fam, jump yeah, through man. the window. Like you need a little run up in it, like, how you... bro. No, three steps, fam. fam. Ten toes that no, thing, man. Fam. Come on, now. No, did you see the flesh behind the guy? Bro, I, don't bro, I don't know, know. Nah, fam. No, bro, no, this, no. This you got to jump, fam. You got to jump, fam. And there was jump. a roof on the other side, man. Just do an angle, no, man. man. Like, Obviously, it's a show, man. Had to die from, but there's bare people. Like there's people that this happens to in real life. You've got to jump, man. Take the chance, bro. Bro, what? He couldn't break the window, G. With what your, you with the Take force of your whole body, bro. bro yeah, I would have died through that thing like a goalkeeper, fam. No, bro, fam. And when people, you're panicking, you can't breathe. It's nah, off. Fam, jump. Like, these things happen, bro. Uh, bro, I'm, bro, I'm not. <laughs> I know they happen, but I'm just saying, it's you've like, got to jump. You've got to give yourself a chance, bro. Fuck. Kayla was telling man to jump, bro. Man can jump. Because he's an idiot, bro. You're a funny guy, bro. He was scared. He was scared. Bro, yeah, I was yeah, scared. Was scared. Yeah, yeah, I was scared, too. Bro, yeah, bro. I'll be scared as well, but I'm jumping. That fear's making me jump out that window, bro. Bro, I'd rather, bro, bro, crack my head on the ground trying to survive than just... Burning alive. alive. Bro. That, 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 that got me, man. I was like... Burning alive, and like, that scene mad. just, just, just uh, thing on on the train. Everything, fam. Like, Even before this that. guy's performance is is off the chart. I, I was, didn't know he had it like like in him like that. I'm not gonna lie, I was pissed. I was disappointed in Sally, mm. but I've I've got faith that man's coming back to Kent to body them man. Mm, okay. Cause them man there. Firstly, they already violated talking about man being brown and that. Yeah, yeah. They already violated man, and he already allowed them. But what have we seen from Sully first episode? Oh, you man got me, yeah? Calm, I'm coming back with the mm. salt and the hot water. Or the sugar and the hot water. These man took Jace. Hmm. Yeah, come on. I'm, I'm expecting Sully to come back with all of these man and just lay them brothers out, fam. It doesn't matter who, which one, all of them. All of them can get it. Oh, I saw you at the pub that day. Yeah, you're getting it as well, fam. That needs to happen, yeah, innit? Get me man. straight. Disclaimer, the Sabados are not promoting murder or revenge or anything like that. But them man need to die, innit? Straight, fam. That's Jeez. it. Jeez. Jeez. I ain't got nothing else for um, you guys. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. This, this. That's cool. Jump in the comment section below and let us know. How should them man die? Get me. How should we kill them? Should mm -hmm. we lock them in a building and burn them? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? What should we do? Should we, show, should we throw yes. rocks with shit on them at them man? <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Is that what we should do? Get me. Stone them, yeah. yeah is that, what, is that what we should do? Let us know in the comment section below. Other than that, I'm Joe on Further the Cyber Nerds. And I'm Raven your GM. I'm sorry, Mr. Best. Too. We'll see you on the next Top Boy review. It's peak for Jace, bro. Why did I have to go out like that, though? Fam, when you're talking about, bro, I just said the rules already. Don't make future plans, especially future plans that are so happy, like they're so different from your actual life. You'll right. never get there. I'm mm. just talking about getting tings. Fam! Oh, ne yeah. Bro, never had a ting talking about getting tings. Never been to a football game talking about watching Arsenal. You're dead. You're going to die, fam. You're not going to get there, fam. Come on, like that, though. Like fam. Bro, it, bro, it hurt, man. It hurt, bro. That was peak, bro. It hurt, that man, fam. Me, that got me, that got me. It hurt, man. It hurt, man.